Now to a developing scandal involving a group known as ACORN, the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now. It is officially nonpartisan, but this group works hard to register low-income voters who tend to vote for Democrats. ACORN's under fire over allegedly phony voter registration in several states, and Drew Griffin of CNN Special Investigations Unit is digging into this for us. You'll be pretty surprised by what he found. There are 5,000 of them. These? These. These. Those. And these. They are new voter registration applications turned in by the community organizing group ACORN, which has launched a massive voter registration drive. And with 5,000 applications in this one county dumped on just before the October 6 deadline, it looked to elections board administrator Ruth Ann Hoagland like ACORN was extremely successful until her workers so began called, finding problems. A lot of them? 50%. Uh, we had close to 5,000 total from um, ACORN, and so far we have identified about 2,100. So roughly half of them roughly half. are bad. Correct. Registered to a dead person, registered as a person who lives at a fast food yes. shop, yes. or just all of them amazingly in the same hand. Yes, yes. All the signatures look exactly the same. Um, everything on the card filled out looks just the same. Ruth Ann, fraud? We have no idea what the motive behind it is. Um, it's just overwhelming to us. It's not that some are bad. Once they started going through them, everyone they looked at was bad. Right. Uh, we've run into a lot of the same you will go through 10 cards and the exact in the exact same hand the card is filled out the same the signature is the same we'll make telephone calls and every phone has been disconnected hoagland decided to stop the review altogether work on other apparently legitimate registrations and get back to the other half of what she now calls the fake pile later it's frustrating it's very frustrating here's another acorn filled out registration form it's for jimmy johns 10839 Broadway in Crown Point. Jimmy Johns. We decided to track him down. Here he is. Is there anybody here that's actually named Jimmy Johns? Nobody registered to vote here named Jimmy Johns? This could really... I mean, there's been no, no fraud yet because people haven't voted yet, right? Correct. Okay. We'll find out on Election Day. But it certainly sets up a potential. The, the potential, I suppose, is always there. It's just that the, it, the volume, the volume is just incredible. The elections board is run by both Republicans and Democrats. Regardless of whose party, we've got a problem with these ballots, right. these it's registrations. Both, both sides, Democrats and Republicans. Um, for us, it's unfortunate. ACORN, with its intent, perhaps, was good to begin with, but unfortunately went awry somewhere. It is fraud, says the Democrat director, Sally Lasota. Well, if you look, it's the same signature for all three voters. It's as though this, the one individual tried to, did three separate applications, but put, you know, you can tell the signature. We're not handwriting experts, but what's obvious is obvious. ACORN's voter registration drives are under investigation or suspicion in several states. Just yesterday, local authorities raided this ACORN office in Las Vegas, where ACORN workers allegedly registered members of the Dallas Cowboys football team. Over the last four years, a dozen states investigated complaints of fraudulent registrations filed by ACORN, and complaints of fraud by ACORN have exploded nationwide in just the last few weeks. We tried to contact the ACORN director in Gary, Indiana, but when the phone messages went unanswered, we went to the office. It's abandoned. ACORN told us the state director for Indiana ACORN is actually based in this office in Milwaukee, but today we found it empty too. ACORN's attorney in Boston told us allegations his organization has committed fraud is a government attempt to keep the disenfranchised from voting. We believe their purpose is to uh, attack ACORN and, incur and suppress votes. We think that by attacking ACORN that they are going to discourage people who may have registered with ACORN from voting. Brian Meller says ACORN has its own quality control, has fired workers in the past, including workers in Gary. Despite its past, the Obama campaign gave $800,000 to ACORN to help fund its primary registration drive, and ACORN has endorsed Barack Obama for president. The Obama campaign reacted this afternoon saying it is committed to protecting the integrity of the voting process and said it has not worked with ACORN during the general election.
Drew Griffin with me now. Drew, though, um, the, can the campaign, or Obama rather, has worked with ACORN, though, in the past. Is that accurate? That's accurate. As an attorney, he represented ACORN in a motor voter court case, which, by the way, Barack Obama won for ACORN. But all afternoon long, the campaign has been calling us trying to distance themselves from ACORN. All right, Drew Griffin for us tonight. Drew, as always, thanks.